What's up guys? Hope you are all keeping well. Welcome back to another Wednesday vlog and things have changed today. Regular programming was supposed to be and had planned to be a tour of my Chinese apartment part one. Part one being this apartment, part two being the new one that I've bought not long ago. But Unfortunately, I won't go into details, but we've had something with a, an incident with my baby son. I won't explain, but let's just call it Poogate. And this has taken a large amount of this morning up. So it's okay, it's all sorted out, and I have fueled myself with coffee to get through the rest of the day. You wouldn't believe from looking at him right now that there was anything wrong. Butter wouldn't melt in his little mouth, would it? So anyway, there's no time for my tour of the house today because I have to shortly get ready and go out. So today, instead, I'm gonna introduce to you three, not one, not two, but three essential things when vlogging with an iPhone. I'm guessing you could probably apply this to any kind of smartphone, but I'm doing it with an iPhone. I like iPhones, iPhones are great. So I know the Android people, and there's probably lots of you watching right now, I still love you guys, but you do get a bit boring with the, oh look, look how my, my Android can do this, oh hello, it's very fantastic, isn't it? If you're gonna buy an iPhone for filmmaking, by the way, make sure you buy at least 128 gig like I did, maybe even, I wish I'd gone for the 256, because stuff does take up a lot of memory. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. Right, I really should have put this on the tripod first. So I'm gonna put it on the tripod now, okay? <laughs> right, here we are. Let's get on with this, let's not make this a long one. Two things every iPhone vlogger, every vlogger, if you're using a camera like I've got, the Canon G7X Mark II. It's on a tripod now, but it doesn't need to be this. If you don't know what a Gorillapod is, you definitely need one of these. So for today's subject though, we're just concentrating on iPhones. So this is the Gorillapod, but with the nice phone adapter thing on the top. So you can still hold it here. It's super awesome for vlogging. If you don't want to buy one of these, if you just want to save a bit of money, or you just don't like it. I don't know why you wouldn't like it, let's be honest. But if you don't want to buy Gorillapod, you can buy a selfie stick, just a regular selfie stick. Still fits your phone in it. All you need both of these things for is just getting a little bit further away from you so you don't just get your face right up here and you get a little bit of the background. Those, not today's three items. In case you couldn't tell, I've had a lot of coffee today already. Anyway, let's move it on. All right, number one, moment lens. Fantastic piece of kit, something I've used extensively when I went to England, in fact. So everywhere you go, if you have a baby and you're looking after your in-laws, you've got your family there, everything's going on, it's like crick -cr 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 crazy. What you need is this chap. You don't need to carry around any camera gear, you don't need anything at all apart from your phone. And this tiny thing which fits in your pocket. You whip it out, you get some super wide shots, you can use it for photo, you can use it for video. It is fantastic. Lens here, it's quite big look, you can see it's that. If you put it on your phone, it actually does weigh quite a lot, but it's worth it, trust me. And your iPhone. And here is, um, you can see, the moment case. So you have the case and the lens. And you see the case, the lens has this little line on the side of it here. So you can't see it, but the case has a line on the side as well. And what you do is you just put it in, twist, and it's on. And when you open it up, check it out. Not bad, not bad at all. I mean, this thing is pretty good. It's basically, this is amazing. It's easy on, easy off. Look, take it back off again. Lens cap goes on. Unscrew. Boom, phone is ready to go back in your pocket. Number two, this is really useful. iPhones, yeah, the the microphone is okay. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. But if you want something that's just a lot, lot better, you definitely want this. It's a Shaw MV88 condenser mic. Comes in this handy little case, very well padded. 
Open it up. Microphone. Uh, you can bend this here. Bend it like the 90 degrees. So it has a windshield, which this just pops off if you don't need it. Um, it's a better one. So here's the actual microphone. Look, no windshield. All fits away in this lovely little case. Pop down like that. Brilliant. Let me show you. It looks quite cool with it all on there. Hey, right. here you go, look. So number three. Number three is just a cheap, easy, like very, very inexpensive, ridiculously useful gadget. It's this thing, look. You see? It just literally goes around your neck like this. Kinky. Basically holds your phone around your neck so you can film like a first person view, like a first person shooter, for example. Phone clips in here, around your neck, and off you go filming. And from then on, hang on, I'll show you again. There you go, look, see? That took me 10 seconds, not even that, to put it in. Now I could effectively film whatever I'm doing. If I was doing cooking, you could film yourself cooking. If you're filming yourself walking along the street, you could film yourself talking to somebody. You could film yourself anything that's going on in front of you. Literally, there we go, right? So that is it for today. Remember, good iPhone vlogging, essential items. Definitely this. Definitely the microphone. Definitely the lens. Right, so the last part of this, filmed on the iPhone with aforementioned moment lens and microphone. Not using the neck thing, of course, you can see. You can hear, the sound is okay, it looks okay. Don't worry about the massive mess in the background here. So please, let me know what you thought of this video. Smash that like button if you liked it even just a little bit. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching it this far all the way to the end. And I've kind of already covered it, but please, you know the drill. Like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you next time.